Hello, I'm Piyush Kotari. I'm going to start my demonstration of web programming assignment 2, which was based on PS, PHP in my SQL. So let's first make sure that the vagrant is up, which I already did. So now we are ready to go. Let's start with our site, which is running for dot. First, let's see if the server is running, which is the dot page. Yeah, now we'll show that server is running. You can go ahead with furniture.pl.j, which is the site name. Okay, so here we are on the home page. So let's start the requirements now. The first one was that the copyright notice, which was 2016, should be changed to no, 2019. Yeah, for this I used a PHP code called go to the index first. So I used a PHP code as echo dot y, which is a PHP code to your the exact date, which is today, and the year is 19 2019. So yeah, y goes for year, and now we have 2019 on all the pages. As you can see. So yeah, it's 2019. The second requirement was to add FAQ page. If we go here on the public side, the FAQ, here we get to see FAQs coming soon, which is a link. So if we go on that, you can see seeming its color, and when we tap on it, it's a link. So we open a site, which is FAQ.php. Let's go to the code and see FAQ.php, and here, yeah, there's the link for FAQs. So if any further notice, I can add up some FAQs in here. Okay, the third one was to add a new category in the administrator area. So let's go to the admin area. Um, furniture admin index. All right, here I have. You already had the login thing, but here I added some new username and password. First, let's log in with the admin. I'll get through this again and yeah now that we are in we can focus on the requirement work which was adding a new category so let's go to categories so these are the categories that we already have if we want to add a new one we can directly go in here add a new category um, for instance we can name it um, So, for example, we can name it um, King Pet. We can add that category and which is added. Okay, let's go to the workbench, which is the SQL, which is the database. Let's go to the categories and run this and see. Now we have the new category called King Pet. All right, so that works. What is our next requirement? Our next requirement says the next requirement stay, says that we we need to hide the product. So let's go to the public page and let's see the furniture that we have. All right, so here we have some four poster bed, king bed, sofas, and wardrobe let's see if we can hide those from the public page so let's try to hide the four poster second hand bed which is for 999 pounds let's go to the admin page let's see the furniture that we have with the four poster let's go to the edit page and what all can we edit here so we have the hide product tick box in here we can edit the name we can edit the description the price the condition and image so let's click on the hide product now that we have a check in here we can save the product in here and then once it's saved we can go back to the public page and refresh it and now we can see that there's no more king bed because it is hidden from the public page but now if the admin wants it back so we can go back to the furniture this is the furniture we're talking about and then we can uncheck the hidden product box and then again save the product and then go back and 
now we can see no oh, the page is loading now see how much time it takes all right so here we have the four poster bed all right so we can edit these changes to any of the furniture we want uh, for example the coffee table Let, let's try the coffee table now where is it yeah the coffee table 99 pounds go in here coffee table let's edit it let's hide it and now we can see that the coffee table is hidden now so yeah perfect it works cool uh, okay let, let's go to the next requirement can you add a new field of products or condition the number five requirement says we have to add a condition to the product let's see uh, let's try the first one itself for, for poster which is a second hand right now so let's go to the admin page then again to the furniture again to edit now here as we can see we can change the condition of the product which now is second hand we can go back and change it to new and then we can save the product and once we go back to the public page we can see the bed is changed to the condition called new let's go to the database and check what happens furniture all right so for so yeah the coffee table was hidden so you can see in one here the condition one replicates new and two is second hand. so now the four poster the first one the condition is one which means it is new as we have coded in coded this in furniture.php right the public page you can see here that condition zero will go to all but now here if we press one right so it's new this is all php codes in here and two will go to second hand so we can directly connect it we have connected directly to the database and then we can see it on the site itself so if it's one it's new two then it's second hand clearly so let's see for the black leather sofa if we go to the database and check for black leather sofa yeah here it is and the condition is two that means it's second hand so yeah we can clearly see it it's second hand here okay this works too what was the next one it is an addition being able to see the condition of the product um, the client was wants us to make it easier for the customer to filter out which one has a new and second hand and what are the categories so yeah i made the filter thing in here so we can choose a category that we want let's select sofa and then condition let's for new ones we apply oh so we have no sofas in here which are new let's try changing a sofa's condition to new in the admin page so here we have a sofa i guess it's second hand that's why it's not showing up exactly it's second hand let's change it to new so we have the product is saved we can refresh the public page and here we are so i want sofas which are all new ones and after i apply it shows a number of items which is one so it's easier for customer to get to know how many items do we have and is it new or second and just directly by filtering it out on the filter tab here. let's go to the code what it shows us so exactly the code works exactly like that condition for condition we can use the table in the sql the database it will get the data from the sql and we'll give out the results exactly that's how it goes let's try something else let's try for chair and all not only second hand let's try all so yeah here are all the chairs that we have which are just two we'll show the number of items too and then new and second hand so it clears out the customer's doubt we can filter it out all right next the number seven requirement 
is only for the admin page let's go to the admin page and the clients client wants us to let their user and the staff could access their admin page so what they want is each staff member should have their login id and username so for that i have this tab called user in here i already have two user which is myself use and admin so let's say if i want to add a new user i go to add user thing and then pick a staff name let it be um, yoke y u q all right and let the password be yoke again no small the name is you also but let's change it to small one so we don't get into trouble so yeah once we add user right the user goes into the, the, the database let's see what happens in the sql so here it shows the username and the name but what about the password it shows in the hash form let's see what that is when we go to the user.php right here i have made it as such that whenever i add a new password it will be in hash form which means it will be hidden from the other users so it can only be remembered by the person who has inserted which is the admin exactly that's how it works so now we have this password which is hash so but only we know that the password is yug so let's go to the admin page let's first log out so that we can go in again all right let's enter the username which is you and the password also and then when we enter we are logged in so yeah so admin can add new users which page okay let's see what's the next requirement number nine he uh, the admin wants to add uh, updates on the home page let's go on our home page all right i already have an update here which says a glass table let's Try to add any of it. Let's go to the admin page, and I have another tab called Update Home Screen. All right, so it'll ask us the date, title, description, and the image of the product. Let's type the production date, which may be twenty six zero eight two thousand seven. Uh, I have an image of a, a king's bed, so let's enter king's bed. And a description of cycling Yeah, let's do the file. It's on my desktop. Yeah, this one. when we open it and we add it so update is added let's go on the database and check what happens again this is update page and then yeah we already had the glass table now we have the king's bed and the description this is the private page the admin page when we go to the public page we can see the updates are being directly added on the home page now how does it work let's go to the php code this furniture.php for public or maybe index.php which is the home page so what it does is it directly takes the data from the database selects from the table called updates and shows up on the home page with this yeah so it shows the date it shows the description image and the name exactly how the client wanted us to do it 
and the last requirement okay this one and the last requirement